Here are five foods that are so toxic their companies are being sued due to health concerns. Number one is Simply Orange Orange Juice. Number two is Orville Redenbacher and Boom Chicka Pop Microwave Popcorn. Got you, I say. Number three is Hershey's and Trader Joe's Chocolate Bars. Number four is every single food from McDonald's and Burger King. <laughs> Of course. Number five is dull bagged salads. As a matter of fact, any bagged salads. Do you eat these? Let In fact, scientists from the University of California, Riverside, funded with your taxpayer dollars, have been studying whether they can turn edible plants, such as lettuce and spinach, into mRNA vaccine factories, thereby creating a transgenic edible vaccine. Look at this shit. One of them fake ass watermelons. <laughs> That like motherfucker a, already cut into three pieces. Hey, they got hey, they got them new pre-cut melons out there for y'all. Go ahead, see what you're gonna turn into. Seedless, that bitch don't even feel right. This shit giving me I am legend vibes, y'all. I ain't even gonna hold you. We tried to figure out how much charge the body takes in when you touch the earth. What happens is the body saturates with electrons practically instantaneously. It's so fast that you can't measure it. So electrons from the earth enter the body right away and they coat the red blood cells so that the cells repel each other and then they can't clump and the blood viscosity goes down it's easier for the heart to pump the blood welcome back to the coolest channel on youtube man look before we do anything man y'all just do me a favor because y'all know these videos be straight bangers you know what i'm saying go ahead smash that like button let's get this thing to twenty thousand likes man make sure y'all going out here doing your own research before you believe anything you see in these videos but this one today it's gonna be a little bit different make sure that y'all don't be skipping nothing because you're gonna miss something and it might benefit you in a real 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 way this video is it's gonna hit a little bit different man it's going this going this gonna hit it's gonna hit something real with a lot of people so make sure y'all share this video right here with your friends your families this is very important just make sure you're doing your own research too at the same time don't believe nothing you see here on these videos just make sure that you go do your own damn research but look that's very important um but look man we're gonna get into this video make sure y'all have my back by smashing that like button that's all i ask Every single decision you make will be life or death. This is a class one quarantined planet. Everything on this planet has evolved to kill humans. Do you know where we are? No, sir. This is Earth. Just keep walking, Lucha. Keep walking, bro. Stay strong, you've been doing good. Oh, thank God I made it. YouTube has just now banned anything related to health that doesn't align with the general medical consensus. So if any information related to health doesn't agree with the World Health Organization, they won't necessarily always take down the, the video, but they're gonna change the algorithms. So they're gonna replace those videos that were popular, that had lots of likes and lots of engagement with medical information. This new partnership with YouTube is supposed to protect you against misinformation and promote high quality health information. And their definition of misinformation is anything that opposes their viewpoint. I mean, if you go to drberg.com, you will see that I have 7,607 success stories. I'm helping people. I'm giving people lots of non-toxic solutions. And if you just read the comments, you'll see that a lot of people are being helped. So my information is not dangerous. It's not misinformation. It's actually quite helpful. And this new change is gonna hurt a lot of people because they're not gonna be able to find alternative viewpoints, alternative opinions. Sometimes medicine doesn't work. You know, looking for inexpensive natural remedies to handle certain body issues. But guess what? Now they're gonna have a very difficult time finding those solutions because all these medical sites are gonna replace alternative health. I mean, I used to rank for so many. You know what's crazy though? That alternative, like it's called alternative health when it's actually like natural. 
It's just wild, ain't it? We're going to keep going, though. But his mouth is off of sync. That's the original video. I can't do nothing about that, but I feel like this is very important. Conditions. Now you can't even find me unless you type Dr. Berg slash whatever. And even on the keto diet. I have 928 keto videos. That's right, 928 videos. Guess what? When you type keto diet, you can't find me. Instead, the number one ranked video is from Mayo Clinic, okay? And the comments are turned off. And you can see the likes are actually not very high compared to the number of views. I think they have like 260,000 views, but very few likes. And it's an anti-keto video. And I'm gonna share some interesting things on that video. But I first wanna communicate a couple things. You know, a long time ago when Google started, they had this motto, and that was, do the right thing. And then they changed it to, don't be evil. And now I don't even, I don't even know what, if they have a motto. But you think just giving people this one medical viewpoint, this monopoly over your body, your healthcare, you think that's gonna increase the quality of health? I mean, basically this move is gonna wipe out the competition and competition, competing viewpoints and opinions are very, very good in the healthcare field because it forces everyone to raise the bar and do better at getting results. And how do we trust this medical group uh, with all the strategic alliances and the strategic partners? The strategic alliances with Big Pharma and how they partner with medical universities and medical journals. How do we trust that? Like I said before, their definition of misinformation is basically any information that opposes the medical viewpoint, the medical consensus. How do we make sure they're transparent with all the conflict of interest, the strategic alliances and the strategic partners and what they call the stakeholders, which some of them are part of industry. And of course, the revolving doors with all the directors. It's terrible. It's terrible. And I think it's going to hurt a lot of people because Freedom of health information is really freedom of speech. And it's a very slippery slope. The more you start filtering out other opinions, other viewpoints, so many people go on the internet because they have not gotten results with certain types of medications and they're trying to find alternatives. Around the same time that John D. Rockefeller seized US media, he also hijacked US medicine. When it was discovered that drugs could be produced from petroleum, America's top oil mogul ordered his army of propagandists to invert reality accordingly. Medicines used for thousands of years were suddenly classified as alternative, while the new, petroleum-based, highly addictive, and patentable drugs were declared the gold standard. After buying a German pharmaceutical company that manufactured chemicals of war for Adolf Hitler, Rockefeller leveraged his political influence by pressing Congress to declare natural healing modalities unscientific quackery. Rockefeller then took control of the American Medical Association and began offering massive grants to top medical schools under the mandate that only his approved curriculum be taught. Any mention of the healing powers of herbs, plants, and diet was erased from most medical textbooks. Doctors and professors who objected to Rockefeller's plan were crucified by the media removed from the AMA, and stripped of their license to teach and practice medicine. Those who dared to speak out were arrested and jailed. When evidence began to emerge that petroleum-based medicines were causing cancer, Mr. Rockefeller founded the American Cancer Society through which he suppressed that information. John D. Rockefeller is duly credited as the founder of the pharmaceutical industry and the reason that medical error is currently the third leading cause of death in America. This is not an indictment against doctors. More than anyone, they are under the stranglehold of the single largest lobbying power in Washington. Every year, the pharmaceutical industry spends at least twice the amount as big oil to influence laws, policies, and public perception. Crazy. Thanks to Mr. Rockefeller, the architect of American monopolies, no industry has more power over our lives than Big Pharma. Keep watching, we build it. The AMA joined with strong financial forces to transform medicine into an industry. The fortunes of Carnegie, Morgan, 
and Rockefeller financed surgery, radiation, and synthetic drugs. They were to become the economic foundations of the new medical economy. The pharmaceutical industry first gained control of the teaching system. Then it gave the AMA the power to exclude all of the doctors from practicing. Then it took over the entire drug testing process while heavily influencing the medical publications that reviewed those drugs. And finally, Big Pharma extended its control over the federal entity that is supposed to verify those drugs' safety and efficacy. At the opposite end are the sick citizens, and in the middle are the doctors who must cure them based on information they can only get from the pharmaceutical industry, which can no longer be verified. The medical industry stole this symbol. This is the caduceus. This actually represents the flow of energy from the spine all the way to the brain. It's represented by those snakes. The snakes connect to the pineal and the pituitary gland. The pineal. The pineal gland controls rhythm. The pituitary gland controls growth. If you force that energy up, you expand the thalamus and the corpus callosum. The corpus callosum connects the two hemispheres of the brain. The thalamus is responsible for perception from your senses. So you can get what you will out of that, but that, this has nothing to do with healthcare or anything like that. This is a stolen symbol from ancient Egypt. Hey, we building, keep watching, this shit crazy. Leading cause of bankruptcy in the United States? Medical bill. Chronic disease is getting worse. Alzheimer's has skyrocketed. Autism has skyrocketed. Type 2 diabetes is getting worse. They don't prevent the illness from happening. The cost of asthma in the United States, $80 billion a year. The medical industry profits $80 billion a year, not curing asthma, not having any idea what causes asthma, not being able to prevent asthma. This type of medical mediocrity is what we've all become used to. Hey, look, remember how I told y'all, look, when I got hit by that car and I had x-rays done and shit, my medical bill was like 30 something thousand, 30 something thousand for x-rays and ultrasounds, MRIs. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. You send me through a machine that pretty much, shit, I paid for it. Me paying over 30 something thousand, pay for the goddamn, I might as well buy my own shit and put, bro, we gotta start buying our own shit and put it in the crib. But look, yo, we're gonna continue with this video. Let me know if y'all got similar stories about medical bills. Let me know how much your medical bills were for something that you thought was small. But if you see in other countries, like, like let's say for Canada, it's really pretty much the extension of the United States, but they have a different health care system where they don't pay shit. It's paid for by like the taxes or something like that. Somebody from Canada, let me know. But it's just crazy. You see what we go through over here? But this is the land of the free. No, you pay for everything. Even the air you breathe. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so question. I've been a nurse officially for, it'll be two years next month. Is it normal to see how corrupt your career field is with only two years experience? I feel like this is not normal. I feel like the stuff that I know, I should not know. But it is a thing. And it's messed up. It, this, it's all messed up. We're running out of blood. We're running out of people. They're phasing out CNAs. What the hell? Like, what is going on? What the? I, I, oh. I didn't know they was phasing out CNAs, but that's just wild, right? It's funny because those of us with medical experience, we know we're not going to get the glory for it. If I tell you change your oil and all your stuff on your car and your car never breaks down, you never realize it. You think, okay, I just drive my car forever and like your body. But the problem is we can do great procedures on you, but wouldn't it be better to avoid those procedures in the first place if you have control over it? There's no bonus for preventive medicine. So if I take someone off insulin, they all go, you know what? We're looking at how much that person would have cost us down the road. And that's part of the reason I left the standard model is because of that. I said, do you realize how much money I'm saving you? Brian, do you know how much money you're costing us? We get reimbursed more by the government the sicker the patient gets. That's a crazy thought. That's why I can't practice medicine with you. Hey, we building. That's just, we building. <laughs> you see the insurance companies are the polar opposite of Google and Facebook. They collect voluminous amounts of information, but they don't share that information back with anyone. If they did, it would upend modern medicine and healthcare in a way that would be so profound 
that it would take our medical system back about 45 years. I was allowed to see your medical records, all of your demographic data. I was allowed to see your, see your genetic data, but I was not allowed to have any contact with the patient or any contact with the treating physician. So even if I saw life-threatening drug interactions, I couldn't warn the patient. Just really quick, does anyone know what the third leading cause of death is in the United States. So the leading cause of death is cardiovascular disease, the second is cancer, but the third leading cause of death in this country is modern medicine. It's astounding when you think about that. If you want to look up the clinical study, it was done by Harvard in 2016. It was repeated by Johns Hopkins in April of 2019, and that study got worse. So they published the Harvard study and retired the Johns Hopkins study. If you sold security systems, what you were the third leading cause of home invasion, how well do you think your business would be doing? But this is where we go for information on optimal health. <laughs> I began to realize that I was brainwashed. I'm not, that's not funny, but that's the funny analogy because it, it hit it right on the head, right? Y'all agree? Let me know in the comments down below. We building. Y'all gonna see some stuff. Organizes the gentleman from Kentucky. Mr. Chairman, of my amendment, which states that none of the funds made available by this act may be used to fund any grant related to any transgenic edible vaccine. And this right here is when we're talking about the lettuce. Remember the lettuce I had in the last video? This is actually showing you the conferences, the conference in which they're speaking about these things. So we get a little bit more in depth with it. So just pay attention, man, to what's really going on and the things that are important to us as a society together. We need to make these decisions and we need to, you know, step in and, you know, make sure certain things aren't happening because this shit is bizarre. It's getting more crazy the more we focus on, you know, just the Super Bowl and, you know, uh, love and hip hop. <laughs> you know, I love to beat up on them, but uh, and everything else is just crazy, man. Like we have to focus as a unit. Try above. Does the term transgenic edible vaccine sound far fetched? Well, it's not. We're funding it. In fact, scientists from the University of California, Riverside, funded with your taxpayer dollars, have been studying whether they can turn edible plants, such as lettuce and spinach, into mRNA vaccine factories, thereby creating a transgenic edible vaccine. One associate professor at UCR explained that ideally a single plant would produce enough mRNA to vaccinate a single person. We are testing this approach with spinach and lettuce and have long-term goals of people growing it in their own gardens. Farmers could also eventually grow entire fields of it. I don't think this is a good idea. I don't think the American people should be funding this. And I think, and I would hope, that we've learned something from- Shit, we already broke enough. What the hell is we funding? We, we can look, we, we, we broke as hell out here in these streets as a mask. Most people can only afford to eat the lettuce with no dressing on it. We got to sprinkle some goddamn, we can't afford sugar no more. We got to put a little dirt on that motherfucker to add some crunch, some more crunch to it. Some texture from the earth. But they want to do experiments on the only shit that a lot of people can afford, bro. That's crazy as hell. The COVID experience with SARS-CoV-2, that some of our science projects aren't the best ideas. And with that, I reserve. Gentlemen from Kentucky is recognized. Well, my colleague on the other side of the aisle talks about keeping prices low. I think there's more to it than that for the American people. And he also speaks as if these vaccines, these transgenic edible plant vaccines, are only used for livestock. Well, in fact, they have been used for livestock. I'll get to that in a second. But they're also being used for people. That is the intended outcome of many of these programs that we are funding. Funding with money from the USDA. Is it just a conspiracy or are they really having a conference on this? Y'all let me know. What could possibly go wrong with this research? Well, we found out a few years ago when a biotech company was experimenting, growing in corn a vaccine to keep pigs from getting diarrhea. What happened? Well, the next year where the corn was grown, the prior year the corn came up and it got commingled with soybeans that were being grown there. It contaminated 500 bushels of soybeans, which were then commingled with 500,000 bushels of soybeans. And those all had to be recalled and destroyed. Luckily, they caught it. Do we want humans eating vaccines that were grown in corn meant to stop pigs from getting diarrhea? I don't think we want that to happen. Yet that almost happened and it could happen. 
There's another case where yeah, alone eating the corn. Y'all know what that, but we ain't eating that goddamn corn ant that the government made. <laughs> First we had government cheese, now we got government corn. Hell no. Nah, the I'm pollen good. cross contaminated another crop of corn, and 155 acres of corn had to be burned. What are the what are the cases where we're not discovering this? I think it's dangerous to play God with our food. I think we need a safe food supply. And this is about food safety. Ultimately, the people in this country need to know what's in their food. And if we start contaminating the DNA of our food with DNA from other animals or viruses, the pollen could spread, and we don't know what could happen. And I would hope we've learned a lesson from the Wuhan lab that sometimes things escape. Sometimes things don't go as you plan. And so that's why I think it's a bad idea to fund transgenic edible plant vaccine research from the USDA. I urge adoption of my amendment and I yield back the balance of my time. The question is on the amendment offered by the gentleman from Kentucky. Those in favor say aye. Those opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. The amendment is agreed to. We don't know what we're eating. Is that uh, the bottom line, Tom? No, we don't. In fact, right now, we've confirmed this mRNA stuff is in the food supply. We know that Merck has a product called Sequevity. They've been, been injecting mRNA into pigs since 2018. Uh, we know that they can actually make tr what's called transmissible mRNA. And what that means is that they can put this stuff in an animal so that it transmits to whoever is ingesting whatever it is that they're ingesting and uh, they become vaccinated. So they could engineer this into plants, into animals, into various mm -hmm. things. And if we don't get disclosure, if we don't you know, pass some informed consent laws, what's gonna happen is, is for all you guys that stood strong and said no to these mRNA vaccines, well, you're right. gonna get them anyways, right through your food. Y'all see why? Look, man, we gotta smash that like button. We build in here, but do you, is the math mathing for you? So no matter if you, what side you on, if you just want to eat vegetables and shit, or you just want to eat meat, you know what I'm saying? We can't pin each other, all these different things against each other. Y'all got to understand it's coming from every side. <laughs> They're trying to figure out how we going to fuck all these niggas up. You feel me? Like, meanwhile, we fighting against each other. Oh, you, you're pink, you're purple, you're blue, you're black, you're white, you're skinny, you're a vegan, you're a meat eater. Pause. But. Whole time, they're like, oh, we're going to fuck all them up. We got them fighting against each other. Oh, we got them right where we want them. We got to focus up. This shit crazy. We building, though. Let's get it. No matter if you eat meat <laughs> or you a veggie eater. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, open your eyes. Let's get back to it. Pause that and read that. That little sticker on the fruits and vegetables, if it's not labeled saying organic, you can look and say if it's if it's nine, it's organic. If it's four or three, then you're seeing that it's sprayed with chemicals and or could be a genetically modified fruit. So think of it in terms of common sense, an apple, romaine lettuce, celery, things that you're gonna be eating directly. You're not peeling like a banana or something. So those you wanna wash. I use baking soda and hydrogen peroxide, let it soak. You can use oxygen bubblers to clean all of that stuff. Clean your food. I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of guilty of that. Sometimes I gotta get better at it. I ain't gonna hold you. Hey, they probably got your boy, man. Damn. Look at this shit. One of them fake ass watermelons. <laughs> that motherfucker like a, already cut into three pieces. It's a water tomato. That shit like a tomato, don't it? <laughs> a big ass tomato. This is weird. Look, that shit. Cut. Oh, that shit, booty. <laughs> this shit pre-cut. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> hey, they got. Hey, they got them new pre-cut melons out there for y'all. Go ahead, see what you're gonna turn into. Seedless. That bitch don't even feel right. This shit giving me I am legend vibes, y'all. I ain't even gonna hold you. This shit is weird. It's, it's squishy. Oh shit. 
that outside of the watermelon was. That motherfucker soft. Look at that right there. That's not abnormal. Look at that bitch. I mean, that's abnormal. <laughs> <laughs> the motherfucker broke. It is broke. And show it nobody's bullshit from Walmart. It's man. burning my cut. That's weird. Shit. Fake ass Walmart motherfucking melons. This cut so through so easily. Hey, you know what just resonated with me though? Why I straightened up real quick because uh probably like like a year ago I, I I was juicing watermelon and the watermelon was actually like burning my stomach. And she said it made her finger burn her burning her cut. Oh, I'm talking all that shit and I'm about to transform into a goddamn I am legend too. Go. This shit. So now you can't find the ingredients to the Chick-fil-A sandwich or the Popeye's uh, chicken sandwich because they don't want you to know that they're drugging you. Uh, for those who didn't hear it, just please tell us how many. I know you don't have to tell us the exact names, but just tell us how many uh, ingredients are in what you refer to as sick filet. Well, I was, it's a play on words, of course. And, you know, you got to be black people. They, 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 when I said McDevils, everybody was like, ha, ha, ha. I said taco hell, ha ha ha. Uh, white casket instead of white castle, ha ha ha. Sin Tucky fried chicken, ha ha ha. Then when I said Long John Killers, they was fine. When I said the Murder King, they was fine. But black people got an emotional attachment to this Chick Fil A spot. So when I said I ain't got it, like, and I ain't black first of all, but do y'all got an attachment to it? I, I see, I see more white people at Chick Fil A than anything. Stop playing with me. Them, them motherfucking, them niggas right there being a line line. Don't they? White people don't give a fuck. They line be all the way down the street like they at a concert, boy. They be fucking that chicken up too. It's a stereotype. White people love chicken too. That ain't even chicken. That's like wood pulp and shit like that too. I it's got sick filet. It's everybody though. Well, I had to get extra security. I'm So I was sitting one day drinking some coffee and I was looking at the line. And at Chick-fil-A. Three lines starting at 10 30 in the morning, and I stayed there for an hour. It never let up. I said, ain't no way in hell that a chicken sandwich tastes that good. So I said, let me see. Uh, I wonder what they're putting in it. And I started doing the research right at the time that you remember, you know, in the hood there was this argument, Popeyes versus Chick-fil-A. Remember that. And everybody was going back and forth. And people, you seen people at Popeye's, man, got shot. The man shot somebody because they didn't have no more chicken sandwiches left. I mean, I said, I said, this ain't no regular chicken sandwiches. So I went and looked up Popeye's chicken sandwich. Come to find out, they have 40, over 40 ingredients in the Popeye's chicken sandwich. 32 of them were man-made chemicals. And I said, well, let's see what Chick-fil-A has. Over 50 chemicals in the chicken sandwich. Over 40 of them were man-made chemicals. I understand what y'all saying, too. Y'all thinking the same thing that I'm thinking, too? Yeah. Them, them, them man-made ingredients, is, them chemicals is banging, ain't they? Them, them shit's hit, but I, don't, I ain't fucking with it no more. I'm good. I said, so hell, this is a dope sandwich. So they, hell, they really are flipping birds over there. <laughs> they, I mean, because there's no way in the world to justify. So whenever I seen that, um, I said it in a message. And someone took the clip of it and then went on the website of Chick-fil-A, had it broke down where they were clicking on it, showing all of the ingredients and these chemicals that were in it. Do you know the next day Chick-fil-A took that down off their website? So now you can't find the ingredients to the Chick-fil-A sandwich or the Popeye's uh, chicken sandwich because they don't want you to know that they're drugging you, that they're doping you, that, that they they have you wanting the food not for nutrition or value, MSG. but because you become addicted by the MSG and the other chemicals that they've inserted in that also are uh, immune system disruptors. They ill affect your brain, mess with your arteries, and, and any foreign substance automatically activates the immune system, which means our bodies, when we eat this kind of food, 
they are fighting an unnecessary battle. So when the real battles of disease show up, the, the systems are too worn out by fighting these small battles every day from bad eating that they can't handle a virus when it shows up. So it'll, it'll do us a great service. Uh, as the, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said this, he said, you must get your mouth out of the white man's kitchen. And remember this, the minister said this, whoever controls your kitchen controls your revolution because food affects mood. We are what we think, but we also are what we eat. And if we have the wrong teacher multiplied by the wrong diet, we're gonna engage in the wrong activity. See, we already covered the teacher aspect of it, right? In the beginning of the video, we already know how that was manipulated and how that is going for us. And we can see the ramifications of that type of behavior, right? But we're going to keep building. This shit getting crazy. And success won't be ours. Now he said we ain't had what? You know your boy going to come through. Your boy going to come through. Pause it and look. Your boy going to come through for y'all. Look, I got you. Huh. Yeah. Take a screenshot. Oh, you ain't do Bojangles like that. All right, all right, all right whatever, though. It's unhealthy as fuck, but they good as a bitch. They don't eat. That's tough. Wow, all of these places unhealthy. Can't listen to what my stomach trying to tell. If you eating this food, you should go get a detox. Holistic herbs to go get a restock. Stop eating that all of these unhealthy restaurants. I know you be itching for it, but you better not. Shit, this is someone who motherfucking ate it. Come apart two for more unhealthy places. He right. Shit. We gonna start off on a good note. This is what they we should down. be. They did that. I promise you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I love everything about it. I can't say nothing bad. I really can't. I really can't. 10 out of 10. Simple. Obviously, don't go and do that. Now you do whatever you like. We can't condone anything of the sort. No, we can't. Live. Live. Yes. <laughs> Fish warning. What fish is safe, which isn't? Unfortunately, it's getting more narrow as our waters get more polluted. But let me show you. Here we are. Smaller fish are better than big fish. Just that simple. Law of biological concentration. The bigger the fish, the more fish they ate that had more mercury and it bioaccumulates. Smaller fish, better. Sardines, the cleanest fish. Herrings, very clean. But let's talk about some of the medium fish. Swordfish is not medium, that's large. We want to stay away from it. A Chilean sea bass, typically a very clean fish. King salmon, clean fish, salmon, but we don't want farm fish. Salmon is right. often farm, so stay away from Atlantic anything. Not good, typically it's farm. So you want the wild king salmon or the wild salmon or fresh caught salmon. That's the key with really any fish. We don't want farmed fish ever. Cod is okay, but again, I'm cautious of Atlantic cod. And then here's another tip. Cold waters are better than warm. And there's exceptions. Some of the Florida fish like mahi-mahi, uh, amberjack, those are cleaner fish. Shrimp actually tests clean. This section right here. <laughs> so I'm not a fan of bottom dwellers. Uh, typically, they hold more heavy metals. Lobster, you can put lobster in a bucket of battery acid. Yeah, and the battery acid's gone. It's absorbed. They're filters. Stick to the small fish. Stick to the cold water. Stick to Pacific fish. Stay away from farm fish. There's the tip. And you know what's crazy about that is, see, it's the reason, you know, the people that know the information and know the information that know what it's going to do to your ass. It's like, you know what? We're going to get these bottom feeders and we're going to make them super expensive, even though they're so abundant. We're going to get that's because they clean the bottom of the ocean. Just like the pig. They say don't eat the pig. The pig cleans what? The pig can eat anything. So think about it. They feed the bottom feeder to you. What do you think the bottom feeder is doing to your body, your mood, your genetics, like your your health? 
you know just 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 keep that in mind you know i'm not telling you what to do i'm not telling you stop eating this but i'm telling you if you're gonna do any of these things on here like these fast food restaurants moderation a lot of people live the daily where you know, even I was guilty of this, like, especially when I left the house and I started getting money and stuff on my own. I was eating out all the time, even though I love to cook. I would I would eat out just as much as I would cook, too, as well. And that's just as bad getting fat, you know, like <laughs> having stomach issues and shit. But, you know. That happens, you know, and I make these videos. So, you know, a lot of us didn't have this education coming up to help save us some time. And, you know, save us some years that we're taking off of our bodies. We're putting dumb shit in our bodies where we can. It's our jobs. And that's why we got to share these videos. It's our job to educate the people behind us. So therefore, they can have a brighter future. And therefore, we can become better as a whole. We got to stop being selfish and share this information. Put your pride to the side. We're not all right. I'm not all right about everything that I say either. I'm just here, you know, speaking out for us as a group and we communicate together and spread these messages as best as possible to save our future for our kids and everything we have to sacrifice because let's be real we were the test dummies in school they fed us the stupid information and, and you know we're a lot wiser now and it's our and it's our job to be the guardians of what the galaxy now nah. <laughs> but look the guardians man of this information and you know spread the the information to our to our people out here to help our future be for real let's get it but let's let's continue to build this shit's crazy here are five foods that are so toxic their companies are being sued due to health concerns Number one is Simply Orange Orange Juice. Number two is Orville Redenbacher and Boom Chicka Pop Microwave Popcorn. Got you, I Number three is Hershey's and Trader Joe's Chocolate Bars. Number four is every single food from McDonald's and Burger King. <laughs> of course. Number five is Dole Bagged Salads. As a matter of fact, any bagged salads. Do you eat these? Let me know in the comments. Hey, look, the bag salads ain't safe. The salads ain't safe no more, y'all. America's Damn. food. Hey, we just got to go outside. Look, I recommended this a long time ago. We just going to act like cows, move, nigga, move. We're going to eat us some grass. Fuck it. Banned in 30 countries. The food is killing people. Oh, yeah, it's definitely killing people. If somebody were to buy a bag of Lay's potato chips versus buying it in Europe and look at the ingredients, they're totally different. They will make the healthier version for another country. There's over 10,000 food chemicals that are allowed in the American population or food system that aren't allowed in other countries. It makes it easier for food companies, gives them longer shelf life because they're putting so many chemicals in it. So anytime we lobby for healthier food choices in our school system, Systems in our neighborhood, the food industry is going right behind them with billions and millions of dollars saying, no, we can't do that. And hey, that's a fact. I told y'all when I was in the military, I, I, my cherry got popped first when I was deployed. And, you know, the people, the local people, they wanted, uh, they would just, I, I was wondering why they was going crazy over our Coca-Colas and stuff like, oh, Coca-Cola. I just give it to them because I didn't, I wasn't drinking that shit. But I learned when I was, I was learning from them that you know, they gave me one of their Coca-Colas and they just told me to taste it versus ours. And they Coca-Cola tastes like shit. I ain't gonna lie. It tastes like absolute shit. You might as well not even drink it. Like they got the, they got real sugar in theirs versus our fake ass shit. And it's a big difference, you know? And that's when I started to learn it. Then I started to travel to these other countries, even more and more countries. And they don't have all this stuff in their food, man. It's pretty basic, but it's, 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 it's good though. You know, but except for Coca-Cola, shit's trash. But um, that's true, y'all. I can tell you from experience. This question right here. Red 40 is banned, right? Let's get into it. And hopefully you guys aren't still eating hot Cheetos. These things have Red 40 in them. A cancer-leading chemical. Let's get into it. And before we get more into the video, is your child having behavioral issues? Did you know that Red 40 is linked to ADHD, behavioral issues, autism, and all kinds of stuff? Let's get more into it. Yeah, but stop. Pink cake. Go ahead and screenshot this so you can work on taking all these foods out of your diet. Now let's go. So I'm guessing for those of you that are watching, you're probably not consuming anything with red food dye, but your kids may. And here are some symptoms. Hyperactive kids, allergies, increasing risk of cancer, and increasing estrogen. I mean, can we get a round of applause for Dr. Berg? The man's been trying to wake us up for so long. I mean... It's the reason why these boys are out here so emotional, just popping each other. 
Um, are we tracking? Look at this. It's linked to cancer, ADHD, allergies, hypersensitivity, asthma, hyperactivity. Now let's continue. 15 million pounds of artificial food dye is put into food. And a lot of those foods are marketed towards kids, especially something like this little fruit snack, or quotes, fruit snack, uh, has a lot of these dyes in it. And They shouldn't be allowed to call that shit no fruit snack. Ain't got no goddamn fruits in it at all, right? You know, these dyes are really, they're linked to behavior problems in kids, ADHD, even autism. And, you know, I used to think food dye, that's just food dye. It does, it's not good, it's not bad, but I've really seen a big link with uh, uh, diseases in my kids, my patients. Uh, allergies, uh, other inflammatory diseases, behavior problems. It's a, it's a big problem. And as much as I'd like to tell you that Red 40 and other toxic food dyes are banned in the U.S., they're not. But guess what? They're banned in other countries. Other countries don't want their people eating this stuff. Huh? I mean, seriously, guys. They're feeding us stuff that is banned in other countries because of all the health issues it's causing. Like, seriously, try and cut these foods out of your diet, too. Let's continue. Since the dawn of Skittles... Ew, hey, did y'all see the barbecue sauce? <laughs> Damn. There have been rumors about the dangers of eating them. Every one of us heard at least one classmate claim that the red ones make you sterile, and the yellow ones, they give you cancer. Turns out, it might be worse than that. First of all, your classmate wasn't wrong. The dyes known as yellow five and yellow six have been linked to hives and hyperactivity in children. Sweden and Norway have banned the candies out of concern. The European Union will most likely be banning Skittles at the end of the year, having already swapped out some of the dye for more natural flavors. This is because of something called titanium dioxide, which can be found making the colors pop across the rainbow. Research linked titanium dioxide to damaged DNA which can lead to cancer, not only toxic, but are unfit for human consumption. So maybe for now, play it safe. If you want to know more about toxic food dyes and bioengineered food, please like, comment, and share for more. Thanks. You make that the nerve to say, taste a rainbow. Shit, that rainbow dangerous as hell. The leprechaun at the bottom of it or something? Like Take those chemicals and put it in dog manure and make it taste like chicken McNuggets. Right now we could drink Strawberry soda, artificially flavored. I never thought about it that way. That's terrible. And we read the ingredients on the can. We're not gonna find strawberries as an ingredient, but it smells like strawberry and it tastes like strawberry. Why? The chemicals. The chemical capital is in New Jersey. Chemicals for your ice cream, for your burgers, your cakes, for everything. These people can take those chemicals and put it in dog manure and make it taste like chicken McNuggets. Shit McNuggets. That's crazy. If you eating ramen noodles, then you nasty as a bitch. They be having bugs in it. Stop eating it for you get sick. Ramen noodles causes high blood pressure and fucks up your liver. I don't care if that's all you got to eat. Please find something different. That's not real shrimp in that bitch. Man, it's man-made. GMO vegetables in that bitch. Please throw that shit away. Go eat some fruits and vegetables, my nigga. Please go clean your system. Stop eating all this fake-ass food to your family and your children. The ramen noodles in China, real America, one is fake. Throw all them shit the fuck away before your little life it takes. Send this video to someone that be eating ramen noodles. Fuck ramen. I'ma find me a lawyer and I'ma sue Hey, I'm gonna do a track with him someday. <laughs> now it's on Al Gore's internet and saw this shit. The certified human chuck burgers. Now, allegedly, they've been ST people all the time. ST, you know, trafficking. People have been being found, murdered. People just been missing all over the country. That shit say certified human. Y'all don't find that suspicious dog? Cause I made a video a while back about when make death, when did they die, and burger disease was giving y'all them cheap ass burgers. And how when I travel the country dog, I don't never see a lot of cows every motherfucking where. And there's too many restaurants and too many motherfucking grocery stores selling beef. <laughs> and ain't no fucking way they got all these cows to supply all these motherfucking food chains. Especially when there's a McDonald's in every 10 mile radius. Smaller than that for real, it's like every 5 mile radius. Dog, there's hella restaurants where I live at every motherfucking where. 
and I'm a thousand percent sure it ain't enough motherfucking cows for all that beef, dog. Now look at this one. See how they got the wording on that motherfucker? In purple, it's people. And then you got the green and say, for the meat. You put it all together, it's for the people meat. Quality meats made from, from people, people like, like you. you. On the package. And you're buying that shit. Even if it wasn't people meat, I would not buy that shit at all. Like, absolutely, bro. Absolutely not, bro. Like, look, I, I don't, I don't like to read, but like these past couple years, I read everything when it comes to like this food stuff. You and that, see right there. That's why everybody's so batshit crazy and going insane and shit. You know when you eat these meats, right? You taking on the stress that came from the individual. Meaning a person or the cow, but when they died, all that negative energy and all that energy they had with them is going right into your body. And people wondering why they all stressed and depressed and got anxiety and shit. Maybe it's from this motherfucking meat you're eating, dog. Yeah, allegedly, they've been doing this for a long time. And I got to say allegedly because they keep trying to take my stuff down. And you can see I've been shadow banned. On TikTok, at least. It's going crazy right now, dog. But we in the age of Aquarius. Everything's coming out. Everybody's awakening. But you got these NPCs that ain't awake work for a damn. Right. And if they're not an NPC, come on, man. Snap out of the Matrix. We are entering 5D, dog. There's too much information out here. Now, I wouldn't say go on Google to research anything. Because it's hard to find anything on Google now. You got to go on Bing, Firefox, all kind of other stuff. But trust me, Google should be your last resort. You might as well just go on TikTok to search up something. Because you can't do it on YouTube either, dog. Not anymore. But all these meat packagings saying human... Yeah, we already covered that. Look, that you don't come, in, come up in a ranking anymore. Not really. And then on top of that, you know... Like for me in particular, you got people that's trying to be me. You got niggas that's wearing hoodies and stuff, the same color as I wear, the same facial expressions, the same way I, I I make the thumbnail of the video. It's already hard being you. And then like when you rank the videos, you know, like if you're saying certain things, you telling certain truths, you own to something, you don't get ranked like that no more. So that's why it's important for y'all to smash that like button. When me, I found some know? years ago. Celebrity meat products. I'm gonna do a video on that. I just gotta get all my information again, dog. But this right here is motherfucking crazy. Yeah, be careful what you're putting in your body. Cause that shit is taking over, dog. Damn. Peace. Damn, y'all hear about this? The top 20 fast food restaurants got weed killer in the food. Man, weed killer is crazy. Most popular places like Panera Bread have obviously got some fucking nerve. And then y'all see the rest? <laughs> Lindy's, Big Filet, like, damn. 100% of the top 20 fast food brands tested positive for glyphosate. Glyphosate is a synthetic compound that is particularly effective against perennial weeds. It's a non-selective herbicide, meaning it will kill most plants, preventing the plants from making certain proteins that are needed for plant growth. If it does this to plants, then what's it doing in your stomach? Fast food is consumed by 85 million Americans each day, and that contributes to America being the worst in the world in life expectancy, infant mortality, and diabetes. Glyphosate exposure can impact your mental health. It's a neurotoxic that can affect your brain, poisonous to your nervous system, your gut health, and your immune system. But your gut is your second brain. That's why your serotonin, which is the happy hormone, is producing your stomach. So it makes sense. Serotonin and melatonin is both in your gut. And they're important hormones that affect your mood, sleep, developing depression, violent and obsessive behavior, as well as suicidal and homicidal thoughts and actions. Glyphosate can also cause liver and organ damage. Levels was found in two samples of Panera Bread, their Arby sandwiches. And the lowest level was found in Chipotle. Next lowest is Panda Express and McDonald's. What's your thoughts on this? Comment that below right now. Catch up for article source. And I'm doing a full breakdown on my YouTube link and bio. Hey, bro said Arby's <laughs> and Panera Bread got some goddamn nerve. <laughs>
That's facts. I don't know nobody that eat at Arby's, bro. <laughs> they got the nerves be trying to poison niggas and shit. That's crazy. Y'all plan ain't working. Y'all got like, y'all poison two people. Everything's connected. message the truth about the sun melanin and plants Yahushua. Some people, because the Christians call it Jesus. The 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 comedics call it Amin Ra. The shaman people call it a different name. It's so many names. But showing that we are solar people, we are children of the sun because we are made of biochemical makeup called carbon or melanin or sugar. And this literally eats the ultraviolet sun rays of the sun and it converts it over into cholesterol. The cholesterol converts these things over into polymers. Now we got biofilms and we go through an iotroporopous photosynthesis just the same way like chloroplasts and plants do. And this is what gives us vitality and give us fuel for our vehicle and that's the reason why when we breathe out carbon dioxide from breaking down and metabolizing carbon guess who eats that carbon dioxide the plants then the plant breathe out oxygen then we breathe in the oxygen and we metabolize the oxygen it breaks down into carbon dioxide and sulfur guess who eats the sulfur the sun it's a relationship going on here y'all a relationship showing you that you are nature you're a part of nature and the only thing that's going to heal you so-called black men and black women is nature. Ooh we we got to talk about it. We building. Watch this. We're gonna end it epically. We tried to figure out how much charge the body takes in when you touch the earth. What happens is the body saturates with electrons practically instantaneously. It's so fast that you can't measure it. So electrons from the earth enter the body right away and they coat the red blood cells so that the cells repel each other and then they can't clump and the blood viscosity goes down it's easier for the heart to pump the blood the blood pressure goes down all kinds of cardiovascular issues they go away We're gonna see how the earthing, the grounding affects your blood. We're gonna take our blood, put it on the uh, slide, microscopic slide, and take a look. As you can see, all her red blood cells are stacked up. Mm -hmm. This is called a stacked up cell. And see, uh, let's go uh, uh, see if the earthing can help improve a level. They're actually earthing right now, and they're just uh, sliding to ground. So we'll see them back in 10 minutes. Let's see how the earthing on the grounding has affected the blood. As you can see, um, the blood, you know, before and after the earthing is obviously changed. So, so after you do the earthing, the blood can circulate better. It's a good example. So apparently when we walk on earth barefoot like this, it releases electrons into the body which stimulate the electronic signals and reduce inflammation. This is really one of Mother Nature's greatest gifts and one of the most primal and easy way to regulate the frequencies within your body. So this can help you with removing stress, having better sleep, better cognitive function, reduce back pain. This also improves overall bodily function because the pressure points at the bottom of your feet are also represented throughout the rest of the body. These pressure points at the bottom of your feet are activated through both physical and electronic stimulation. 
So in Chinese medicine, ancient healers for thousands of years have used reflexology or mapping and stimulating pressure points to reduce inflammation and restore the body to this natural equilibrium, which encourages healing and also strengthens the body. Feel free to take a screenshot of this reflexology chart. And if you learned something, share it with a friend and don't forget to hit the follow button. Peace. <laughs> what a amazing video we have here. But my message to the people is, yeah, we have problems out here in the world, but we can't blame everything on the people that are doing the bad behaviors, taking advantage because we are elevating and we need to take responsibility for what's going on around us because most of the time we sit back, we talk about things and we just let these things happen. Me, I'm doing my job by, you know, putting this in your face, giving you something to think about. I'm not telling you what to think or what to believe in. We just come here, we have these conversations and you do what you wanna do with the information. But hopefully you can learn something from this, we can grow from this and we can grow past it and we can evolve as a people, you know? But at the end of the day, man, you choose what's right for you. Um, nobody's telling you to change your diet. Like I said, you do what you wanna do. This is your life. This is, you manifested here you have a mission that you're on if you want to be a loser you have every right to be a fucking loser if you want to be healthy you have every right to be healthy if you want to be more educated you have every right to be more educated do what's best for you and you know what i'm saying that's my message to y'all i'm not in the business of changing people i just want to have provoking conversations and focus on things that actually matter at the end of the day like i say go live your life have fun don't make don't let nobody make you feel guilty for doing things that you enjoy but also keep in mind if you're growing as a person and you have children it's 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 it, 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 it's it's important for you to grow so that you can provide them with the best opportunities and the best life and one of the best steps that we can do is is educate ourselves so therefore our children can thrive in the future that's very important for us as humanity to keep growing and become better and not pollute our earth and destroy the planet that we live on together you know but look man it is what it is y'all let me know how y'all feel about this video right here i got more videos for y'all dropping you know what i'm saying look these videos my videos hit a lot different you feel me but look um it is what it is i see you on the next video and like i always say spread love because there's too much hate in this world i love you guys i see you on the next video and i'm out though bye